Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Wow. Well, it's good to see you again. It's Friday. Yes. The good thing is that tomorrow you don't have class. You don't have class on Sunday. So. Hi. How are you, teacher? Good evening, Jimmy. You are Very the... nice. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Lorena. Okay, good evening, everyone. It's good to see you one more class. And this is class number eight. Yes, can you imagine you are in class number eight now? Well, to start with, we I need to take the attendance. So, okay, let me see who's here in the class. Mm -hmm. Alejandra Sofia Vasquez. Here, Miss. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana del Carmen Sánchez. Present. Thank you, Ana. Brian Claros. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Carmen Leonor. Present. Thank you, Diego Siquina. Elvis Giovanni. Present. Thank you, Elvis. Okay. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Carolina Ávila. Jenny Valiente de León. Jessica Virginia Rosales. Present. Thank you, Jessica. Jimmy Roger Flores Hernández. Present. Thank you, Jose Alejandro Valladares. Present. Thank you, Jose. Jose Osvaldo Reyes. Okay, Osvaldo. Good. Crisia Lorena Ríos. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengiva. Present. Thank you, Lorena. Luis Ibrián. Luis José Guardado. Manuel Edgardo Martínez. Margarita Beatriz Mancía. Present. Thank you, Margarita. María José Najarro. Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Presente. Thank you, Marlene. Se le escucha suavecito, pero está bien. Wilber Alfredo Montoya. Miguel Ángel Meléndez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Miguel. Mirna Yanet Rivas. Uh, Natalie Cristina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Natalie. Hortensia Stephanie. Mm, Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Okay, I have two chats. Let me see. Bueno, Diego dice que tiene problemas con su audio, pero está presente. Ok, ¿alguien más a quien no haya mencionado? Y que está presente. Teacher, eh, María José le pidió permiso. Eh, sí, me parece que me escribió. Ajá. Solo que no pude... Contestarle. Ah, bueno, pero le escribió. <ríe> sí, sí. Ok. Le voy a contestar ahorita. ¿Alguien que acaba de entrar? No escuchó su nombre. Present teacher. Ok. Li Oscar Lisandro, ¿verdad? Correcto. Ok. ¿Alguien más me escribe? Ah, Brian. Brian. Brian, claro, si usted me escribió, Brian. Yo le escribí, teacher, pero aquí estoy, voy a hacer lo que pueda para estar conectado. Está bien, igual, ¿verdad? Si, si por alguna razón no pueden participar en la actividad, solo me lo hace saber. 
pero está bien que esté presente porque eso les ayuda con su asistencia. Si algún día ustedes tienen, se sienten mal de salud o alguna situación, pueden estar, conectarse, ¿verdad? Y estar de oyentes, aunque no participe, ¿verdad? Debido a cómo se encuentre. Pero lo importante es que no falte la clase porque la asistencia es muy importante para INSAFOR. Y ellos, ellos auditan los videos que se suben a la, a, al canal de YouTube para verificar cuántos eh, están presentes en la clase y también cuentan los minutos que usted se conectó. Al final debe de tener un 80% mínimo de asistencia. Entonces, por eso es importante que se conecte a tiempo y que esté eh, presente ¿verdad? en todas las clases, de ser posible. Hay dos manos levantadas, si me podrían ayudar, Miguel. Sí, yo tengo una consulta. Eh, con respecto a los canales de YouTube, eh, eso ah, exactamente, cuál es, la, ¿cuál es el nombre de la página para ver las clases? Ah, muy bien. Si nos pueden, si nos pueden proporcionar los links de las clases, por si hay algo que repasar, algo que, que no nos quedó claro o queremos volver a, a escuchar. Muy bien, ahorita les voy a enviar la dirección para que puedan, ¿verdad? En el caso de los que, por ejemplo, por alguna razón. Y pues me imagino que no son, no son, no son las mismas, eh, los mismos videos como para todos los módulos, ¿verdad? Entonces, para no. saber cuál es específicamente de nosotros. Eh. Es esta misma clase. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. grabada y esta es la que se sube, ¿verdad? Ya okay. le puse ahí la, el, la, la dirección de YouTube, el canal okay. que hay para nuestro grupo. Ok, so... Las la, presentaciones me, no se suben, ¿verdad? Fíjese que no, esas... Ahí solo si sí me dice, ¿verdad? <ríe> no podría ayudarle. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Enviándosela. Ok, so we're going to start with the class. Solo tenía una consulta. Este, le quería preguntar del día de ayer si había pasado lista. Es que ayer creo que entré un poquito tarde. Sí, sí, siempre es pasado todos los días. <ríe> Permítame revisar ahorita. Marlene, ¿verdad? Sí, me, no, no, no tiene asistencia. Ahorita se la pongo. Gracias. Ok, entonces, so, let's see. Eh, Luis, ¿cantamos? Ah, sí, buenas noches. Eh, yo también ayer me conecté tarde y ahora también. Entonces, creo que ya había pasado la hora de la asistencia. Entonces. Ok. ¿Alguien más? ¿Son varias? ¿Miguel? ¿O te dejó la mano levantada? <laughs> ok, so we are going to start the class. Today is class number eight. And let me share with you the class presentation. Okay, so we have WH questions and adjectives to describe people. That is the topic for the class number eight. Well, in this class, you will become familiar with the numbers and also how to form WH questions with me and learn adjectives which describe the personality and appearance of people. Well, yesterday we had some conversations pending, so I would like uh, some volunteers to present their conversations. Who is ready with their conversations? My father no is Okay, your partner is not here. Or maybe we can leave the conversation for later. Okay, and we're going to start with other part of the class. Okay, so this is just like a review because you already know how to make questions with the pair to be information questions. We have some examples. What's your name? My name is Gil. Who is that? He's my brother. Who are they? They are my classmates. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. How old is he? He's 21. Where are they from? They are from Rio. How are you today? I'm just fine. What's, his, what's he like? He's very nice. 
what's real like. It's very beautiful. So we have WH questions with is, am, um, or are. And as you can see, we have in some of them contractions. What is, what's, who is, who's, uh, what's, then what is, what is he like or what's he like. This question, what's he like, quiere decir como es él. Like significa también como. This is what's he like, quiere decir como es él, como es. O what's she like, como es ella. Or what's it like, como es eso. Okay, or what's your sister like, como es tu hermana. Or what's your mother like? Oh, my mother is very angry. <laughs> so as an example, what's your father like? No, my father is very nice. Okay, so that is the question. What's he like? What's she like? And, or another subject. Quiere decir como es, okay? And the same here, you can also use it for places. What's real like? It's very beautiful. So Rio de Janeiro, right? Or we can say, what's El Salvador like? If maybe another person from another country asks, what's El Salvador like? Is it dangerous? No, no anymore. In the past, El Salvador was dangerous, but not anymore. Okay. Or what's San Miguel like? Oh, San Miguel, it's very hot. But it's a good city. Or what's... Uh, Chalatenango like, oh, Chalatenango is, is fresh. Or some parts are hot, but, well, you can give a description. And today we are going to study adjectives to describe people and places. Okay, do you have any questions about this or can we move on? Teacher. Yes, um, hey, Jimmy. O sea, like. No solamente se puede referir uno en que I like the drink tea, por ejemplo, si a mí me gusta el té. Eh, o es solo siempre como es él. Muy o bien. ella, o como. Sí, like es un verbo que significa gustar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I like Coca-Cola. Me gusta la Coca-Cola. I like eh, pupusas. I like tacos. She likes dancing, okay? So yes, we use the verb like, que significa gustar, que nos gusta algo. But also the, the word like, the word, la palabra like, también tiene otro significado, que se, es como. Como de, no de comer, ¿verdad? Sino... <laughs> de cómo es algo, ¿verdad? De cómo es algo. What's he like? ¿Cómo es él? What's she, what's she like? ¿Cómo es ella? What's eh, Argentina like? ¿Cómo es Argentina? What's Sonsonate like? Es para preguntar, ¿y cómo es? Acuérdense de la pregunta. ¿Y cómo es él? Ok, what's he like? And well, si no hay más preguntas, can we move on? Ok, I think that we can. Las otras pues ya vimos, ¿verdad? How are you today? It's to express how you feel. Para expresar cómo se siente, cómo está. And eh, you can answer. Bueno, les voy a preguntar a todos. How are you today? Y ustedes me escriben en el chat. How, how you are today. Por ejemplo, usted me puede decir, I'm tired, estoy cansado. Ok, I'm hungry. What does it mean? Tengo hambre. Ok. Eh, I'm great. It means... Me siento genial o oh, súper bien. Okay. 
Okay, exhausted means pretty, 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 or very, 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 very tired. Okay. Okay, um, another one could be, I'm good, que significa estoy bien. También puede decir, not so bad, not tan mal. Uh, you could also say, um, can, I can't complain, como no me puedo quejar. Okay. Oh, I can put some sleepy. I'm sick. Okay, estoy enfermo, como Margarita, verdad, Diana. Eh, I'm sad. Oh, yo estoy triste. Please don't be sad. Be happy. Don't worry. <laughs> so those are different um, answers that you can give. Oh, Natalie is sleepy because she got up early today. Okay. Yeah, when I wake up at 4 a.m., I feel very tired at this time. <laughs> I'm very tired and carrying the baby who can't sleep. Okay, Jacqueline. It's complicated. Okay, so I see. Oh, Brian is sick. Alejandra is sick. Oh, please, people, be careful because there are uh, many people is many people are sick in this moment, and you can uh, you can get the virus, right? So, please try to take care of yourself. Use your mask. Protect. Okay. So, please use your mask when you are with other people because, you know, the virus is still in the air. There is an, a, new, a, a new version or a new type of the, the COVID. So, you got to be careful. Okay. Uh, we have more messages. I'm happy because no, or, oh, Jacqueline, you didn't work today. Luis says, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm tired. Okay, good. So you know the WH question. Who's that? Quien es ese? O quien es ella? Who's that? Quien es ese? O quien es esa? Who's that? Quien es? Who's that? Who are they? Quienes son ellos? Who are they? What's she like? Como es ella? What's chalate like? Como es chalate? How are you today? How old is your mother? How old is your mother? Do you know? Can you answer that question? How old is your mother? Uh -huh. So this is, let's see how much you know your mother. A ver, cuántos... Saben de su mamá? How old is your mother? How old is your mother? My mother or my mom is 59. A ver, ¿cuántos están pendientes de su mamá? My mom is 59. Can you tell my me how old is your mom? 72. 72, wow. Pretty big. Pretty big. Jessica's mom is 49. Okay, very, very young. Your mom's very young. Jacqueline's mom is 52. Okay, Jacqueline, pretty young too. Diego's mom is 58, almost like my mother. Elvis' mom is 48. Really, Elvis? Wow, your mom is, is very young too. Oh, Jacqueline, your grandma is 86. 86, 86. Lisandro's mom is 56. Okay, great. Oh, I'm so sorry, Anna. You can say my mother passed away, okay? My mother passed away. I'm so sorry for that. Okay. So let's continue with um, the next slide.
we have uh, some people here in this picture and we have different adjectives to describe these people. We can, for example, he's really tall, very tall, he's really tall, uh, he's handsome, uh, she's thin, she's thin, like delgada, she's thin, he's very short, right? He's very short. Um, she is a little heavy, uh, just a little heavy, right? Rayenita, she's a little heavy. Uh, she is really friendly, muy amigable, she's really friendly. They are good looking, son atractivos, o se miran muy bien, they are good looking. She's very pretty. He's quiet, es callado, he's quiet. And, but she's the opposite, she's talkative, talkative, talkative. She is serious, but he's funny, he's funny. And she is shy, ella es tímida, okay? We have some examples on how we can use the adjective. We can say, my friend John is really tall. My cousin Mary is a little short. And my coworker Chris is a little heavy. Okay, we are going to start by saying or by describing ourselves, okay? By saying I am. Okay, I think, I think, vamos a usar esa expresión. I think, yo creo, o yo pienso, I think I am friendly. And a little, no, 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 no. Let's make something. Can you tell me how, how I am? Or how you think I am? Using the adjectives, can you tell me how I am? You can say, teacher, you are? Teacher, a, I think teacher. is you is a little heavy. I'm a little heavy. <laughs> you know, I think it's because of my cheeks. <laughs> It's because of my cheeks, but I'm not that heavy. <laughs> well, I'm just a little, just a little. I, um, my weight, my weight is 150. 150 pounds. That's my weight. It's a peso, 150 pounds. But my height, that's my weight. Okay, that's my weight. But my height is 162 centimeters. 162 centimeters. So I'm not that short. So that's why my weight is 150 pounds. But when I was 20, when I was 20 years old, I was very thin, very thin. Now, yes, you know, with the years. <laughs> okay, but how do you think you I am? Give me more, give me more opinions. I think uh, uh, you are is uh, very friendly. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Okay, I think you are friendly too. <laughs> thank you. I think Alejandro is a little bit shy. Jose Alejandro is a little shy. Is that true, Alejandro? <laughs> Are you a little shy? I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> I is, uh, 
Okay, don't worry, Jose. Now, please, everybody, tell me about how you are. Use the structure I am, and then I am, and then mention the adjective. Okay, I'm gonna type some, or I'm gonna write here some other adjectives. For example, you will see in the screen other adjectives. Mm, um, for example, you can say medium height, que es mediana, medium, medium height. Um, you can also be extroverted. Extroverted. Mm, medium high, extroverted, um, introverted. You can tell me, teacher, I'm responsible. Um, and let me see over. Slim, delgado, también. Slim. Mm -hmm. What other adjectives? Please type in the chat how you describe yourself. You can also say sweet, dulce, sweet. Say, so, oh, I'm a sweet person. Or I'm um, serious. Or um, mm -hmm. forgetful. Se me olvida todo. Forgetful. Romantic. Um, other adjectives, stingy or generous. Stingy is tacaño. Okay. <laughs> or generous. Are you stingy or are you generous? Gentle, amable. Um, a fun person or funny, que es divertido, funny. Organized, alguien ordenado, uh, a relaxed person, una persona bien relajada, hardworking, que, que es una persona trabajadora, hardworking, a positive person or optimistic, um, sociable, a sociable person. Um, Maybe eh, a cheerful person, as una persona alegre, cheerful. Eh, direct, una persona directa. <laughs> also, we can have easy going, así como que, con quien uno se puede llevar bien, easy going. Or a patient person. Well, we have a lot of adjectives. Can you tell me? Can you describe yourself saying, I am, I think I am, I think I am. About personality, I think I am friendly, and generous, and, and romantic. Okay. Okay. I think I am like that. And a little bit sweet. Okay, now can you tell me about yourself? Describe yourself. I am, I am. Bueno, y aunque no sea cierto, usted escriba algo, just to practice English. 
I'm really tall, Jessica. Really? I'm really tall. I'm forgetful and I'm introverted. Oh, I'm friendly and organized. Okay, that's good, Lisandro. I'm a little bit forgetful too. Brian? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I had a question. Uh, I can say, for example, I can say think or I can say skinny at the same. Thing is like more positive and skinny is like in, in a negative way. Like it's bien flaquito, but in a, a little bit in a negative sense. Mm, okay, thank you. Okay. Obsessive. <laughs> okay, obsessive. Quiero a ver cuántas S llevas, espérame. Let me just... Obsessive. Double. Oh, it's only one first. Okay, obsessive and compulsive. Mm -hmm. um, responsible and sociable. Okay. Okay, Alejandra. Margarita is optimistic, Miguel. No, Miguel, you are not introverted, Miguel. I don't think so. Um, hmm. Okay, um, Anna, you can say sentimental or emotional. Como una persona muy emocional. I am an emotional person too. I cry when I see sad movies. When I cry, when I see other people crying. So I'm very emotional. Oh, Carmen is sociable. Okay, that's good. Giovanni says he's positive and optimistic. Alejandro is tall and slim. Okay, that's good. That's very nice. I like people, I like that. Lorena and Ajaro, you are very, what? Funny, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jessica is explosive. Okay, Jessica, we have to be careful. <laughs> Ah, that is another one, like angry. I didn't put angry. It's very angry. Or in a bad mood. A bitter person, una persona amargada, bitter. I can say that. Bitter. There is another word that I don't remember at this moment. Um, uh, to say cascarabia, but I don't remember. I just was on the tip of my tongue. Grumpy, okay, it's like gruñón, grumpy, a grumpy person. <laughs> okay, people, so good. Ya no me ocupo. Bitter or grumpy. Oh, yes, it's there. Lorena says that she's crazy and toxic. <laughs> okay, hi, classmates, I am a small woman. Small, pequeña, or short woman? My height is one, 152 and 145 pounds. Like, okay, just an ordinary woman. I like to work so hard. That's good, Jacqueline Carolina. I like to have the house clean, but now with a baby, it's complicated. I really like to be a good person with the other people. I know this woman, sometimes very funny. That's great, Carolina. Yes, yeah. 
group to be hardworking. Okay, so now can we move on to the next slide? No sé si anotaron las... If you write or take notes of the different adjectives, but in case you didn't, I'm gonna take a picture. To send it in the group. And we are going to continue because I'm going to erase. Okay. We have more adjectives. You can maybe repeat by uh, with your microphone off. Attentive. Uh, who is attentive in the class? Let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have calm, cheeky. That's me. I'm very cheeky. That's why I look like very heavy, but those are just my cheeks, Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> I'm very cheeky. Muy, muy cachetona. Intelligent. Faithful, es una persona con mucha fe, faithful. Pessimistic, a person who's always negative. Friendly, you have friends. Good temper, es de un buen temperamento. Bad temper, es alguien de mal temperamento. Bad temper. Happy, hardworking, like my mother. Honest. Or you are a nervous person or anxious person? Anxious? Okay, humble is alguien humilde. Humble, lively is uh, somebody like very, alguien muy, uh, how can I say that? Like, muy, bueno, literalmente vivo, alguien muy active, una persona muy activa, lively. Aragán, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> Lazy, okay, lazy. Obedient, obedient and optimistic. Estas son más fáciles, ¿verdad? Porque algunas se, se parecen al español. Okay, well... So again, you can also take a screenshot or a picture of this. I will take a picture for you. These are adjectives to describe people's personality. Well, so moving on, the structure is the subject plus the verb, depending on the subject, and the adjective. So I would like you to uh, describe or describe uh, people. Write please 10 sentences. Escriba 10 oraciones. Describing your friends and your family. Describing your friends and your family. Okay, I'm going to write some examples. For example, I would say my niece, mi sobrina, my niece is five years old and she is very happy and lively and talkative. <laughs> okay. Muy contenta, muy activa y muy platicona. Okay, so my niece is five years old. She's very happy, lively and talkative. You can also use the, you can also say the age because in that way you practice the age. My mother is 59 years old. And she's very active, hardworking, and a little shy. My mom is a little shy. My father is 61. He is tall and thin, and, and he's very, he's very hardworking too. My father is very hardworking and smart. My old brother, mi hermano mayor, my old brother is 39 and he's very intelligent. 
it's very intelligent, funny, and but sometimes, but sometimes he is bad temper. <laughs> it's funny, but sometimes he's bad temper. Okay, so I want you to write some descriptions about your friends and people. My husband is 30, 30 years old. And he's very optimistic, humble. Mm, happy, funny, and in my opinion, handsome. <laughs> okay. So let's be, let's please describe people in your family. You can do it in your notebook. You can do it in your notebook and later on, I will open the rooms so that you can share with the class, ¿ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, yo le voy a preguntar, how's your mother like? O ustedes se van a preguntar, how's your mother like? Or how's uh, your... Um, how's your husband like? Or how's your family like? Solo en general. How's your family like? ¿Cómo es tu familia? Ok, so en lo que van terminando, los voy a ir poniendo en las salitas para que vayan eh, ya empezando a, a practicar. Teacher, no me, no me eh, dejaba entrar a ninguna. O sea, me sacó, pero ya no me volvió a ingresar a la sala. Ya agrego. ¿No se dijo en qué sala era? La 3, ¿verdad? Sí. 
¡Ay! Desaparecí el, el cuadrito. Perdón. Eh, vaya, permítame. Ya me va a aparecer la opción para enviar. Vaya. ¿Lisandro? Margarita está solita. Nada, Jessica. ¿O cómo? No, no pudo ver el, el cuadrito. No me ha salido. Ay, no me voy a tener que mover a otra. Ahora sí. Pero a la tres. Alejandra y Luis, ¿cómo van? Más o menos. Pensando. Okay. Recuerden que se van a hacer las preguntas. ¿Cómo? Your family like. Esa es la pregunta que van a hacer. Aquí es donde vamos a usar todo. Ah, ahí. Eh, iba a decir: My mom is, my father is, my sister is, my brother is. Miss, how do you pronounce paciente? Paciente, patient. Ah, patient. 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 Yes. Ah, patient. 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 Con S al final. Con T. Ah, patient. 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 Okay. 
Continue. Alejandro, Brian, y Ana. Hello. Yo pensé, que habíamos, yo pensé que habíamos regresado a la clase. No, no, no. Ando aquí nomás espiándolos. No, vaya. Okay. Eh, Just supervising. Keep, keep, keep an eye on you. Ok. Um, Ana, how is your family like? Otra vez lo repito. <laughs> Pregúnteme a mí si quiere usted. Ok. Eh, how is your family like? Ok. Uh, my family like is... For example, my father is very tall, he's very thin, he's very intelligent, and he's very hard work, uh, hard work, hard working teacher. Yeah, and my mother is very short, and he's very, very lazy, <laughs> and he's very funny. Lazy. Lazy. Lively. Lively es como muy activa, muy alegre y lazy es perezosa. Sí, la lazy, lazy, eh. lazy. 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 Sí. Ok. Very sincere. Ok, continue, please. Ajá, Margarita, Diego, Jessica, Lisandro. ¿Cómo van? Good. Diego, ¿usted puede hacer así por el chat? Que le pregunten y usted responde. ¿Y how's your family like? Diego, and you can type it. And the others, I want to hear you speak in English, practice in English. Okay, please practice. My family is B, okay. Hello, Hortensia. How are you? Hello, Hortensia. Good partner. Hola, compañero. Hola. Ok. Ay. <ríe> Pensé que me había salido del grupo de la sala. <ríe> no, es <it's> just me. <ríe> Ay, me dijo. My husband is a good Hanson. partner. Uh -huh. And is a good partner. Okay. Partner. Para mí es Hanson. <laughs> For me, it's Hanson. Yes. Hanson. Yes, you have to say it. Hanson. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
How's your mother like? No hack mother. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Ignore me. Just continue. Continue. Okay. Okay, Osvaldo, tell me, how is your mother like? Osvaldo. O sea, I'm here, Osvaldo. Le está preguntando, bueno, él le dijo que no tiene mamá. Entonces, you can talk about the people in your family. How's your family like, Osvaldo? Okay. No family. You don't have family. Okay. How's your friends? How's your friend like? How's your friend? Don't tell me you don't have friends. Um, no. No tiene amigos tampoco? Sí. Ah, yes. Um, <laughs> Osvaldo. Yes. You are single. Are you single? Está soltero. Are you single? Eh, no. Ah. How is your wife? Eh, how? Uh, How's your how wife? Your wife like? Como es tu esposa. How's your wife like? She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Yeah. Hey. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> Is happy? She's happy. <laughs> romantic? Yes, romantic. <laughs> Good as well. <laughs> okay. How's your family like, Cobaldo? Okay. Hi, teacher. Mucho gusto. <laughs> Finish. Yes. Hey, it's time. It's time to go back. Okay, let's go. Okay, so good. I enjoy listening to your descriptions. <laughs> and I would like some volunteers to share with the class. Volunteers or victims? Because if there are no volunteers, I'm gonna ask for victims. I'm gonna look for victims. Okay, Lorena, tell how's your family like Lorena? My family is, is big. Um, I have three Three children, I don't know say that. Okay. Yes, you have three children, tres hijos. Yeah, uh, so funny, three, my husband. Uh, okay, they are funny. 58 years old, he's a employer, he's a very hungry. <laughs> no, it's very angry. <laughs> funny is very, it's very serious because a romantic a little a little <laughs> okay thank you passes for Lorena okay Alejandra Sofia we want to know about you. how's your family like my mother is 50 years old and she is very active responsibly and passion and passion algo así de pronto paciente Pe, pe, patient. Pe. Ah, patient. Yes. Patient. My sister is 26 years old and she is a friendly and sure and 
No sé cómo se pone. Es pequeña y. Short. Ajá, uh -huh, short. Very intelligent. Intelligent. What do you pronounce? Intelligent. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Great, Natalie. Natalie, you raise your hand. No, teacher. <laughs> Ahora diga algo. <laughs> Now say something about your family. How's your family like? My family is very fun and sociable. And nobody is shy or boring. My three brothers are very joking. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, people, I would love to continue, but we have to finish here. And can you tell me what did you learn in this class? ¿Qué aprendieron en esta clase? Describe your family. Exactly. You learn to describe people, in this case, your family. And to describe yourself, right? And to say the age. Para decir la edad, siempre vamos a usar el verbo to be. No vamos a usar have. ¿Verdad que nadie dijo my mother has? Nadie dijo eso. Excellent. You were saying my mother is or my father is. Okay. Excellent. Well, les voy a mandar la tarea. Va a ser que ustedes hagan una conversación en su cuaderno o en... Lo que puedan con una picture, with a picture of your family. Bueno, ahí van a ver el ejemplo y luego lo, la hacen. Ok, so see you on Monday. We have class until Monday. Please have a nice weekend and enjoy with your family. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.